I set out to build one of the most unique solo vault bases in Rust. And the coolest part is, it's 100% underwater. How's it going everybody? Today is going to be an interesting, interesting fresh wipe. I'm going to be building a pretty insane seabed base. It's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited to try this out. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm trying to think about where is going to be best to build. I'm thinking we go up here, to be honest. So I think we're just going to try and spawn up the top of the map. Hey. Alright, let's try and get a bag down. That is the first order of business, as always. Oh man, the server's popping. <laughs> There's dudes everywhere. Holy shit. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Dude, there are people everywhere. It's insane. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 come on now. <laughs> Get him. Dude, we need a ladder. Never mind. Oh, dude, these guys are sad. I'll take that. And all these. Thank you. Let's keep moving. We really just need farm. We need lots of wood. Like a fair bit of wood. And I do need a scuba kit, actually. Before we go too much further. I might need to set up a little, a little starter base. Maybe near fishing village. Up here. I gathered some low grade from the oil barrels on the road and boarded a small boat to travel towards the fishing village, which was near my build location. If you hadn't quite caught on yet, the plan for this wipe was to build a unique seabed vault base, completely hidden from the rest of the server. To get to this stage though, I need some resources, and I need a base to operate out of for farming purposes. So the plan was to put down a small land base also. This is how it played out in my head anyway, but this server had other plans for me on day one of my adventure. Ah uh, yes, diving tank. So good. It's like one of the most important items for this base and building. Flippers! <laughs> yes. So we'll buy a little scuba outfit here. Okay, a little farm base or like little uh, mainland base over here. Maybe in like E2 or something. 
And then as soon as we get enough low grade and resources, we're going to head straight out and put down our main, <laughs> main base. Hopefully in A0. I think we're going to have to wait and see until, like when we get there if it's going to be feasible. But that's the plan. Alright, I think this is the spot. I'm just make sure there's no one up the hill here. so loaded of course you don't spawn up there no give me a fucking spawn dude come on come oh, man I just had to hit that naked once with a freaking bow <laughs> couldn't hit him <laughs> couldn't hit him uh, you know that's how wipe day goes most of the time yeah, that loss really hurt, but as a solo, I'm used to things not going smoothly on wipe day, so I brushed myself off and started again. Alright, let's get a bag down here, and then we'll spawn at that bag. Hopefully a little bit of my stuff is still there. Hopefully the box is still there at least. You might not have seen that. Oh man, I actually didn't find it. It's huge. Damn, that's pretty good. I thought I would have lost all that. Oh, they left my scuba kit. Dude, I'm gonna scuba over to that area. I'm gonna leave the box here, because I don't want to die. That spot near mining outpost seems so much quieter. loot around here. It's crazy. Revy? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I'm really wanting to get this base down now. I don't want to die for a second time before I get a base. That would be demoralizing, that's for sure. Fire out. I've actually got a lot of comps. I was checking a stash. Oh, I got no heels. In classic Harvey's fashion, I couldn't help myself. Cycle, we get some heals. Uh, stashes, where were they? Like here? 
I could see him, so like here somewhere, right? Maybe here? On the gap? Yep. 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 Okay. 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 <laughs> Fuck. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. No way. I'm frustrated, man. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I should have just prioritized what I wanted and got out of there. I mean, it's pretty good to get away with this though, to be fair. But that's quite frustrating that I lost all that stuff. Let's really go see if any of that stuff's still there. Oh man, in, in hindsight, like, in hindsight, that's a pretty decent amount of farm to steal from that dude. I imagine he got the rest of my stuff, but that's okay. What did I lose? I had a bunch of comps, I had some scrap and stuff, but resources is what I'm like mainly need right now, so that's probably okay. Man, that, that bag came in clutch, my mining bag. Oh. Fuck. Ow. I'm dead. I'm so dead. No way! He got me in the last second! He's kidding me! Why is that so painful? Why is that so... Why did it have to happen like that? <laughs> Just don't let me get that far. Just let me die. For fuck's sake, dude. The solo life, man. The solo life is absolutely painful. It kind of seemed like deja vu, but once again, I brushed myself off and started the grind. This time, at least with a base to operate out of. All right, we'll make another, we'll make an airlock. Might as well just try and secure this. So yeah, I think we're gonna operate out of this base at least for a little while. Just until I have en like enough resources that I can actually put down the base that I want to put down. Oh, hello. Hello there.
To be honest, I'm surprised those guys that haven't come back yet. Getting a sheet metal door down felt really good. It was time to get this wipe moving. Well, that was the plan, anyway. This wipe is like proving to be pretty difficult to get started on, I'm not gonna lie. It was now at least half an hour into my attempt at this wipe and my patience was wearing pretty thin. Fierce dragon. Bro. <laughs> oh no. That is next level, Sag. <laughs> the boar. And he tried to chop him. <laughs> Try to chop him. That's exactly what we needed. Because I don't need too much more. Like, I'm going to cook up some low grade, do some farming while that's cooking, and then we're going to find a boat and head around to base. Man, that's gonna hurt so bad for that dude. The fact he didn't come back to. His body was already turned into a bag. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Hello? Two bears? Nugget! <laughs> yeah, you guys just witnessed a rare rage quit. I thought I'd try again the following morning. I actually can't believe that this little base is not raided. So we're going to try and get a blue card from Sewer. And we could even try and get red on the way back from treatment. We'll see how we go.
God. I can't believe I'm doing this. Utilizing the quiet morning hours of day two, I was now ready to put down the seabed vault base. So I loaded up with my scuba gear and resources and was on my way. I needed some more high quality metal for the vending machine storage, so I decided to loot a few shipwrecks along the way. Yes. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Middle of KO. That is so much boat farming for that dude. It's like at least an hour. Dude, this is gonna be so close to rig. This is it. Okay. <laughs> oh man, let's do it. I had a jackhammer too. Fire out. Imagine if I could build in here. Oh my god. I think he might have just come and got his stuff back, to be honest. I almost immediately realized that resources was going to be a problem and that a small farming base on the nearby coast was definitely going to be necessary. But for now, I just needed some wood to engage the decay strategy on this unique base build. So you might be wondering, how exactly does a 100% submerged base design work? Well, I'm about to tell you. You see, a less known fact about how tool cupboards work is that when a base's tool cupboard is destroyed while full of resources, 24 hours of upkeep is subtracted from said resources, and the base won't start to decay until that 24 hour time period has passed. This is so that if you get offline raided for example, you might actually get a chance to salvage your base before it completely decays. So this got me thinking, what if I built a base underwater and then built with twig to the surface, placed down a tool cupboard, filled it with resources and destroyed the tool cupboard, would this give me 24 hours of free upkeep in a completely submerged base? The answer is yes. And with how vast the ocean is in rust, the chances of someone finding this base are next to impossible, unless they follow you back.
Sweet. Yeah, I think that's worked. So that should give me 24 hours of upkeep. That's still how it works on console. So we're at 465. Keep an eye on that. See if that continues to decay or not. Alright, we check uh, Blue Room on the way home. And then we're going to go suss out the rig, I think. Do that. Please don't be decaying, please. Please. Ah, uh, yes. It's repaired itself. <laughs> oh, dude. That's actually so insane. 24 hours of free, free base. And I just need to come back 24 hours later and do the same thing. That's really kind of nuts when you think about it. Let's go for Red Room. Oh, it's under me. Holy. I mean, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but it worked. I could go back and try and do the heavies too.
don't know how many there are, but there's at least two. They're leaving. Oh. Hey. As soon as this goes to shit, I'm out of it, man. Oops. It's already gone to shit. I can definitely make that jump there. Call this man. I think we gotta go. I think we gotta dip. I've completely lost count. To go. Ah, uh, let's go, dude. Yes. Uh, I don't even care about locked crate. To be honest, I just want to get out of here. Ah, <laughs> oh, the hemp. <laughs> the hemp is growing. Uh. Damn. Alright, so we're just gonna do some loot organization here and then we're gonna have a break for a bit. And when I'm back, the plan's gonna be to finish off this base. I know, I know, we've come a long way. Look, the base is pretty epic. Just gonna put it out there. But there's a few other little bits and pieces I want to add to it. So we'll do that after we have a short break, grab something to eat. Okay, I need to do a recycle run, that's what I need to do. Let's do that now. This is a big ass recycling. Holy. Oh, that's two guys. Holy. That is extremely lucky timing. That's crazy. That would have given me the biggest jump scare. Really should get a 
the ladder hatch before I um, call in the airdrop, shouldn't I? Maybe if I do it somewhere else, like... Right, this rock formation looks good. Far enough away that it's not suspicious. <laughs> not so good. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is so sick. This is actually so sick. Now that that's coming down, I can probably destroy this. This is such a good way to play solo, actually. I feel like lately I've really been finding the enjoyable ways to play solo Rust. Alright, we'll do this rig run and then I'm gonna need some coffee, that's for sure. Looks like we're making coffee now. I'm not gonna be messing with a three man. Uh excuse me? I put it on, dude. I'm sure that I equipped the, the new diving tank. I really need a respawn point. Ah, oh, thank god. Um, so, I've been thinking, I think I am going to set up a small base, only for furnaces, a respawn point, and workbenches and stuff. Like, I'm not going to store any loot there, but I really need to be able to, like, smelt a little bit of sulfur here and there, and if I keep having to pick up my tier 3 workbench, it's just going to get broken, and it'll cost a shit ton to repair. So I think we're going to do that, even just like a 2 by one or something. Yeah, this would be my little like farm base. Alright, we're gonna get the uh the base finished and then we're gonna call it for today 
it's been a pretty, uh, you know, pretty efficient, efficient little day. Really? Couple L's. Couple W's. Mainly L's. <laughs> That's how it goes as a solo in Rust most of the time. So after an eventful day, that's what I did. I built to the surface to reset the decay timer on my C vault base and logged off for the night. Well, this is the first time that I've logged off for like overnight with this base design. So hopefully it's still there. <laughs> hopefully it hasn't decayed because that would make me pretty sad. Is holding it up? Oh man, that's so lucky. I literally think that the ladders have kept that vending machine from like being destroyed. My base had survived the first night unattended. The plan for today was to finish the vault base and continue to run large oil rig. Um. Right, let's get some metal cooking.
After returning home with all the loot, it was time to finally seal the base. The reason I hadn't worried too much about this so far was that this base's functionality was 95% reliant on being secret and under the radar of other players. As there was no tool cupboard included, it'd pretty much be over if anyone found the base anyway. Alright, so we're gonna go regas a few things and also we just need like four gears because then we can finish the base <laughs> finally <laughs> nah, that's not happening. Turned out well. Sucked in. That fucking Hawaii dude, man. Man, that guy should have killed me. Ah, we got it all back though. Even the kids. <laughs> okay, let's finish off the base. Finish off the uh, vault base. Deactivate the broadcasting as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, it's done. Ah, oh, dude. This base is sick. Alright, let's do some storage organization. Sea star. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. This is what we've got at the like sort of beginning of day day three now.
Not sure how many lockers have been made before, purely for the, for the purpose of uh, scuba kits, but it's first for everything. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's get out of here. Just until it respawns. Here to tell you, buddy. This is terrifying. He's getting pretty close. This is not how I wanted this to go. I wouldn't be surprised if that dude with a jackhammer is from one of these big clans. Like they've been grubbing oil rig. The big like there's two big clans, one in that like little inlet and one in that inlet over there. And they've been grubbing oil rig with scuba kits and DBs and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if that dude was from one of those groups. They might take the opportunity to raid that base. Like to, to raid my base. I still got bags there right now, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. Jesus, <laughs> he's loaded. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> I mean, you gotta respect the uh, the attempt. Two nakies out farming, one with a shit ton of nodes, one with a shit ton of wood. Man, he was close to. If he'd headshot me, I would've gone down like straight away. So we're going to bypass this scientist here. It's a good little solo strat, actually. Leaving that scientist there. Because, like, no one else is going to be able to get past it without killing it. It's like a little alarm system for me. <laughs> Someone else his gun? His gun must have fallen actually, I should find that. Alright, I think we come back. This. Damn, we hit the other guy twice too, I think. Would have been so low. Oh, oh he's, he's dead! No way. I did not know he died. Dude. 
I should, I should depot. Oh man, the bolt here is such a game changer. Can't believe that guy bled out. He had his, he had his uh, bandage, like his med equipped and everything. I depoted the loot from another successful oil rig run and had a break for a bit. Sadly, as I kind of expected, one of the large nearby clans had raided my land base, which was more just annoying than anything. Well, that might have happened. Didn't take the scuba kits though. <laughs> and they waited for me to be offline as well. That is outrageous. But coming towards the end of day 3 of wipe, and having to return to work the following day, I decided to let one of the local players in on my secret base design, and give them all of the loot to enjoy for the rest of their wipe. Hey, how's up brother? How you doing mate? Sadly for some reason, this guy's voice didn't record, but he turned out to be a bit of a legend, so I was happy with my decision. I had so much fun building this unique solo sea vault base. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I have another pretty epic water base design for you guys in an upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you real soon.